boy. What is up, lads? Cass and Corral here, back playing the Silver Case. Last episode, we have finished off uh, case number two, Spectrum, and where uh, we found out that the killer, or indirect killer, I guess you can say, in this case, was Hiruma, a man that lived, I think, on the third floor, and basically, as a child, didn't really have that much fun. Not really memorable, but when he saw like Hikaru and uh, Kochi messing around in the park while making bases and stuff, or basically playing, he got jealous. So for some reason, one day he just started to chase both of them. They both went down alley, but went dip, split up uh, during the chase. Kochi, of course, is a survivor. Well. When he went down a, an alleyway, and unfortunately, he he kind of had died after going to a dead end, like right uh, right before a, a currently active train uh, railroad, I should say, and he died on the spot because of his weak heart. Weak heart. Ah, sad days. At least Kochi had a good heart. Trying to solve the case and not give up on Hikari. Now, it's time for placebo mode and report number two, Hana. Let's go. Let's see what's actually up here. Ah. Yeah, look, look, it's definitely the same, uh, complex. Huh. Tokyo's room. Oh boy. Why did I fix my interphone? Ah, I don't know, man. Oh, you're gonna take a smoke. Alright. <laughs> Back to the dank and rump ass music to me. Okay. So, there's. No? Really? Okay. Oh. Window? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. How about the telephone? Okay. How about you, Red? My dear pet turtle. He looks happy. Beautiful. Oh boy. Gonna be a lot of reading today, man. Marishiwa Memo. How about some materials? Black rosewood. Put on my desk and stare at this reddish wood. Rosewood is pretty hard to... It's pretty hard, so it's probably not very good for beginners. But with this wood in front of my eyes, I'm gonna start feeling nostalgic. Oh boy, nostalgic. I decided to make a paper knife. I'm going to use a knife to make a knife. Like stone carving stone. I like digging dirt up dirt. Like a star begets a star. Yeah, we got the point by the third line. Okay. Weekly lovers. Uh, amazing world's carnivorous plants. What is this one? Saka Sarajkinia Purpuria? Hmm. Well, it's a perennial carnivorous plant. At least you're connected to the base. <coughs> become become cylindrical and called bottom cutelodon. I I think I butchered that. Grow to a length of 5 to 17 centimeters. The center blisters and <coughs> the yellow green leaves. Have dark brown and red, pale red veins. Flowers bloom at the end of the long stems. The diameter of four to five centimeters. They bloom in springtime. In Japanese they're also called purple heishi shou. Oh, heishi shou. Whatever. The Sarcania was first named so because so because they were sent from Canada to Europe by the French Canadian professor Michael Sarazin. 
Eight types of spread throughout North America. Okay, yeah. Oh, a lottery. Got a pitcher plant. Hmm. Today's word. Too many cooks spoiled the broth. I'm guessing if we got too many people working on something. Might as well have nothing working at all. Or, yeah. Not too many people are involved with the planning and execution of a thing. The varying option or opinions and directions can root sense said thing. Very true. Maybe I'll go check it out check it out later. Yeah, you go check out that redwood later. Oh, it was actually getting wood. I thought you got it. Hmm. Oh hey. Hmm. I started. Started what? Littling wood. I'm making a paper knife. That's good. Yeah, this guy, when we were down our luck and stuff, after the, what happened in uh, a shopping center in the first report, uh, this man cheered us up and told us to like get a hobby, basically. Making a paper knife is like an introduction to knife work. I see. I didn't know. There are many things in the world that one doesn't know. You know... Yes. You can really get lost in it. Oh, fuck. When we're leaning like that, the time just flies by. So, okay. I got confused again. Because it's such a primitive thing. I know what you mean. So, like... It's the same as eating food or a fucking woman, huh? Yes. But for women, whatever you do, you'll never understand them. But what's the whittling? The more you do it, the more you get hang of it. The more you understand the wood's features, right? It's nice see. You're not very popular with the ladies, are you? No, we're pretty much giving up hope when it comes to women. I bet. God bless. Okay. July 1st. Almost three days until... American Independence Day. Hmm. What up? Ooh. Shut the fuck up. I'm fucking sleeping. Oh, okay. Damn. Fuck off. God damn. Shut up. Just fuck off. I feel like shit. Of course you do, son of. What? Oh, whoopsie. Ah, uh, what's it? No, no, not the goddamn window. Telephone. Shit. Okay. How about you, Red? Happy, once more. Okay. Ah! Contact request. Oh shit. How's the Kamui investigation going? Hurry up in some reports of Kamui's past and the recent movement, mo movements on the HC unit. You need to be submitting regular reports. If you end up breaking your contract, you'll be dealt with accordingly. Have I have no intention of coddling you. Get your work done as soon as you as soon you've fuck. Get your work done as you've been paid to do. Jesus, why is that so hard? Can we this, can we that? Just shut the fuck up. Why are you in this job then, bro? Okay, I'm still investigating. Alright, fair enough. What's this word? Many a true word is spoken in jest. Ex unexpected often comes from the normal and mundane. Also, things spoken as jokes can become the truth and cause conflict. Sadly, that is very true. Holy shit. No? Fuck. Huh? Noku? What the hell is he doing? Wait, huh? Why do I know that his name is Noku? 
Well, you just remember shit. Oh? I saw something rare this morning. Some HG unit looking guys were hanging around my building. The guy apparently met at Babylon. That no good guy, he was there. Apparently someone in my building died last night. According to the info I got from the news site, news site database, the younger guy who lived on the third floor jumped and killed himself. Sounds like it. Sounds like it was right around the time I was at the bar. I feel weird. Someone died at my building, but I didn't see it. I didn't hear the sound. I wasn't told by someone else living here. I first knew of it via my computer. It doesn't feel real. Anyway, the Noki dude is one of the repellent guy. Maybe I can get some info from Kusabi. Oh yeah. Was he there too? What? No. He was on, he was on a stakeout. <laughs> the whole damn time. Ah. Are you kidding me? You're fucking back here. <laughs> no way. Come on, game. Ah. He was there. Huh? Hi. I'm, I'm in a goddamn stakeout. I can see that. You're just as fucking cheerful as always. You got nothing for me? What are you watching, Org? What do you talk about during these times like this, or some shit like that? You know, reporter questions. Hmm. Okay then. What are you watching? Can't tell you. Uh. By the way. Hmm. Ah, this guy. Never met him before, have you? Okay, I'll introduce you. This is Ballsack. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Just kidding. This is Sumio. Be cool with him, yeah? Tetsu, come on back. We're on a stakeout. He's here as dude as you can see. A bit of a hard ass, but still. Ah. Uh, what? Are you just bored or... What the fuck? The fuck does it look like? Looks like it to me. Huh. So I look bored, huh? Yeah? Oh, do I? Yeah. For reals? Uh... What? You're dragging it on. Sorry. I'm so fucking bored. I bet. So, what do you want? I don't care that you came all the way here. I'm not giving you shit. What's HG unit been up to you recently? I got my building killed himself. And the guys from your unit have been creeping around. Got a bit of info on you from them. Hmm. That's where you live? HG unit does all kinds of shit. So then, did you meet Hachisuka too? Oh, her. No, but I saw Noku. Oh, big dick, huh? Big dick? I told you, didn't I? He's big dick. Detectives need nicknames. Yeah, whatever. What's he doing? The fuck should I know? It's kind of a weirdo. Weirdo? Uh, for example? He's like a quiet, introverted teenager. More importantly, are you rich? Huh? No, I'm pretty broke. I'm gonna ask you this. I'm gonna ask this frankly, but... Can you lend a brother 50,000 yen? Ah! Ha ha ha! So it was around this time, huh? Okay. Okay. Me? If you're gonna give me some info, then... Ah, that's bribery. If you want to talk bribery, I'll talk bribery. Fuck it then. Okay, you can go now. Okay, whatever. See ya. You got money problems, be call me in time. For time being, I may be able to help you out, so... Okay, if I change my mind... Call me, okay? See you later. Yeah, okay. Ooh. 
Damn. Well, ain't that some shit, bro? Ah. Well, damn, nighttime. Will I be seeing a ghost? Oh, no, okay. Oh, shit. It took a whole pack of sick smokes to clear my head. Looks like I've been overlooking too many things. When I first noticed that Nokia was here in my building, he was watching the kid. An elementary school age kid. That's how I stuck with me. So I decided to ask a lady in the building whom I sort of know about it. The day that kid dropped something and I went after him, but couldn't catch up. That's why I that's why I told the lady to get her to tell about the kid told me about the kid, and she apparently believed her right away. His name is Koji Sugita, and she told me that he was friends with that Hikaru Kobayashi kid who died of a heart attack a while ago. What does Noku want with this Koji kid? What is happening here? Something sketchy is going on. I'm not sure whether I should get any further, further involved. Anyway, if the HG unit is involved, at least I can use it as an excuse for my client. Uh, I feel like shit. I've been smoking too much. Jesus, get a nicotine patch or some shit. Oh my god. What time is it? What time is it in game? Fuck you. <laughs> ah, this man. Ah, uh, <laughs> what have you done now? I opened my window late at night. It was raining silently. The paper knife is almost ready. It's coming into shape. The knife I'm using to carve this is just a regular climbing knife. It gradually spreads out from the base and has levels, which I use to carve the edge of the knife. At night, when I gaze at it, it glistens silver and cold. The carving knife is getting a bit blunt, but I need to buy a sharpening stone soon. I need to master shopping methods too. Looks like something new can branch off from other ex unexpected things. Is that what the second word of the day thing was basically hinting at? Except without a joke? Nah. This paper knife. What do we even use it for? I'm going to sleep. You should have sleep like two hours ago or some shit. Jeez. Oh my god. What the fuck is that for? Why would you do that? Ah, uh, Huh? That hasn't gone off today. Hmm. Well, okay. Oh my- Damn. Okay. It was like a full 11 hours. Oh. Just today's word. Okay. Better the devil you know, than the devil you don't. If you absolutely have to deal with something bad, then the bad thing you know is preferable to... to a completely unknown bad thing. Exactly. So you can prepare yourself and shit. And you don't have to fucking worry about what the fuck you're hearing going on about. Okay then. Let's see. I gotta talk to Kasabi. Fucking serious. What a phone time? Ah, okay. You again, huh? Oh yeah, don't worry about the money thing. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. By the way, about Noku. Don't is a bit familiar there, boy. Whatever, just watch yourself. So anyways, what about Big Dick? You know about his involvement with a kid named Kochi? Not my job. What a big dick does has nothing to do with me. 
But the HD unit is working the, that suicide case in my building. I think it, has, it was a murder or something, right? Who knows? That truth has been pretty much worked out. What has? There was speculation on all this drama. Hmm. I get more not talking to you. We'll talk some other time. Kasabi. Huh? I'll call you again. Maybe I pissed him off. Tell him he dodged me. Damn, bro. Wait, so what the fuck do I do? Hmm, okay. I don't know if it was suicide or murder or what. I'm gonna look into that guy on the third floor who died. Also check into that coach kid as well. There's a car kid who died too. Fuck. How are you dealing with kids? <laughs> I feel your fucking pain, bro. What? Ah, uh, whatever. I just gotta remember, it's me. The, the what is what is the shit called? This mode, you're just basically either in your room or you're in a crime scene or some shit. Uh, that Akata Kobayashi kid lives in room four or three. He died on June twenty second. COD was heart attack. He was found in the neighbor. Well, he was found in the street right there in the neighborhood. This kid was born with a weak heart and. He is thought to have suffered a heart attack suddenly while playing. Neighbor noticed and called an ambulance right away, but the kid died in the hospital while only undergoing emergency treatment without ever regarding gaining consciousness. The assumed suicide side, uh, Kenichi Hiruma lived in room 3 1. He was 21 and apparently worked as an advertisement artist. And that Kochi Isuguda kid lives in room 402. I just remembered that Hiruma was all bruised up and shit. I don't think you really get that if you fall from a big height. Or a tall height. Big height? From a tall height. Whatever. Red. Ah, yes. I should probably try talking to that kid. Should be okay, right? Yeah, I don't know. That's up to you. Hmm. Tokyo's room. I really need to get my PC. Hmm. Oh, memo time again. I went with that Kochi kid, but he ran away. I think it's because he's smart. Rather than my approach being problematic. Once he heard I was with the media, he split. It looks like he and Noku are doing okay. Noku. I don't care so much about this guy. I think it's his mysteriousness that bothers me. When I got all fucked up at Babylon, Noku was nearby. The impact of that whole situation is still strong inside me. Some sort of irrational fear and Noku's existence have links together somehow. Something like that. Will the client be interested in this stuff? I can't stand that motherfucker. Oh, I'm sick of just tailing people like the, an asshole. Whatever. I'll keep on going for the time being. I'll try waiting at the apartment building. Our two hours in school should be getting out. Yeah? Hold up, let me see if I can get my PC real quick. Now that I think about it, I never really thought about what kind of people live in this building. Yeah, it's pretty diverse from my uh, point of view as Noku. Even living in the same building, strangers are strangers, I guess. Oh, Kochi! Huh? Ah. Ah! Hey! Hey, wait! You don't have to run, okay? I just want to talk to you. 
What do you want to talk about? Huh? Um, well... Kochi, you're friends with Hikaru, right? So... I don't have anything to talk about, so... Bye. Bye? Hey, wait up! Ah, so I got nothing. Shit. Well... I guess... I don't know what to say, man. That kid has went through some traumatic shit. So, I guess it, it really does make sense what... Oh god, excuse me. It really does make sense why he doesn't want to talk to anyone yet. Ah, maybe I'll try asking Erica. Okay. It's time to go on the phone again. Uh... Oh, fuck. I have to go on the computer. I gotta email her. Okay. How's it going? I have a favor to ask you. There's been a little incident in the building I live. Some guy killed himself. Now the HC unit is on the move. Which means that it may not have been just a bit... Been just a simple suicide. Remember Noku? He's been hanging around. Looks like he's been watching over this kid named Kochi Fuguda. I don't know why. I, it'd be easier easiest if I could speak to, that, to this Kochi kid directly, but it doesn't look like he'll talk to me. I have no idea how to deal with kids, you know. You're interested in helping me out? I'll be waiting for your reply. Okay. If only Erica takes me up on this. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I don't know, man. Mm. Ah, back at the bar. Ah, yes, jackhammer. How was the paper knife? Oh yeah, I finished it. it. It's pretty cool. Hey, that's great. Now I'm working on my second piece. What is it? I'm making a turtle. Ah, like after Ed. A turtle figurine. That's unusual. I've got a pet turtle. You told me. When did I tell you that? You wanna see it? See what? My turtle. I got a photo of him. Sure. Show me. Here it is. Let's see. Ah, oh, this is rather nasty. Hmm. Wait a second. What's nasty about it? I mean, the patterns. And his face. His face? He's fucking smiling! <laughs> okay. Is this him smiling? Whatever. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Feelings. I'm going. I'm, I'm, how dare you, sir? I'm going home. Fuck, man. I can't believe you don't. You don't see how love he is. <laughs> Fucking hell. You hurt my feelings. I. When was this game released? Like Onadis? Right at the beginning of the Onadis? Jesus. Ah. Uh. I don't know what to say. Well, uh, actually, someone up there, of course, ah, uh, what the fuck is that up, is it, is it the kid's ghost doing this, motherfucker, hold up, oh, I can't believe I spelled Burger King with a fucking I at the U, ah, uh. Whoa! Noku! Noku? Why is he... What? What do you want? Waking up, waking me up this early. Oh, you want to talk more? What the fuck? You know, 
Your face really pissing me off. Wait. So we're the red-headed guy? Okay. I should probably should have known that early, but jeez. Don't come back again. Just fucking go away. This motherfucker. You can't just stand here, so... Dal Kelly, I don't know. Normally being told something like that would piss a person off, right? Huh? Come on, get mad. Face something. I get pissed off. Get the fuck out of here. Maybe because he just the event that he went through at the beginning of case one just made him a wretching wrestling bitch face or some shit. Maybe it went too far. You think? Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Computer. Ah. Hmm, dealing with kids, huh? I checked the answer out myself and I basically get it. Looks like the HE unit is on the job after all. Okay, I'll take it. Alright. And today's word, what is it? Stagnant water is covered with dust. If water builds up without flowing, it will rot. Very more true words, thank you. I don't want to see that shit again. Fuck off. I just don't get that guy. You know what? Me neither, bro. Hmm. Evening, huh? Okay. Hmm. Looks like speaking isn't a problem. Hmm. Let me do my. Oh, you're sending another email. Okay. I'm typing this while I look out the window. Looks like you were able to talk with the kid, huh? It's been a while since I gazed at you like this. You're too far away, so I can't see your face, but I can tell it's still you. But you are bathed in the even glow. It sounds weird, but you look like an actual mother and child. But this is the kind of woman you've become. I have a smile and laugh like that. Three years goes by really fast. Haha, <laughs> I wouldn't fucking write that, but you know what? You do, you kid. Ah, uh, the stars know everything. I remember a song like that, but the fact they, that they know everything is a sad thing. There are more things in this world that it's better not to know. I only stood after I turned 30. You're 30? I'm only 10 years younger than you. Even though this is a game, but still. Ah, when I realized that, I was a crime reporter. And it was my job to know things I better off not knowing and selling that info. Which made me realize I was unhappy. That's why I quit. Erica was just a trigger for that. But after I quit the news agency, I couldn't think of anything else I could do for work besides reporting on things. It's good to be introspective sometimes. I have something positive to talk about as well. The turtle I'm carving is coming along well. I have an act for this, although I can't draw for shit. I was surprised that I was actually good at this. But, it's looking like a scrub brush more than turtle, which bothers me. Shit. I'm really into this. Hey man. Whatever floats your boat. I will recommend video games, but I don't know what games have existed back then. And I would guess like PC-98? Commodore? I don't know. Maybe PC-98 because of what you have. I want to try PC-98 game. Hell, isn't Course Party Techno- start, start, Didn't Course Party start off in a PC-98 game? Ah, uh, whatever. Do you know how to sharpen? You mean sharpen the knife, right? Yeah. At first I kept trying to sharpen mine properly, but I kept rounding, up, rounding it off. Blunting it. I tried sharpening stone, but... How do I sharpen it? I kept getting blunt. 
But it's easier to get better at stuff like you do. Or better at stuff you like to do. Recently, I just got the hang of it. Now my knife cuts 120% better. You can, tell the, you can tell it's been done properly if you can place a tissue on the knife and it cuts through with just, the, with just gravity. I'll try that. Are you making a turtle figurine with your knife? No, I bought a carving knife for that. So, you so you're really getting into it. I want some sort of merit, you know. Merit. Some kind of merit, yeah. People need some sort of merit. Same as a knife. Ah, like a knife that can't cut, right? Yeah, a knife that can't cut is useless to a person. But a knife is like a wild animal, you know. Yeah? Is it? I don't know. You just, it's just unpredictable, I guess? I don't know, man. I'm just gonna predict. It's not gonna cut shit as efficiently. Ah, whatever. <clears throat> oh, sh. Okay, never mind. I got spooked. I thought it gave the DoorDash person the wrong gate code. Ah, man. Okay. No, not the fucking one. God damn it. Okay. Computer, why not? Ho <laughs> ho! Let's see what Erica wrote. I met with Koji today. I spoke to a kid playing by himself in the complex's part, and it turned out to be him. Anyway, I played with him for a while and avoided asking questions for the time being. And he's a good kid. He did try testing me out a bit, but it's clear that he's clever enough not not to just act out without considering those around him. It looks like I've managed to gain his trust somehow. I'm seeing him again tomorrow. It's a Sunday, so I'll go in the morning. If I'm to ask him about Noku, etc., then... Oh, look that. First off, looks like it's coming along well. I'm happy for you, Ad, actually. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's up a long time. Probably mornings are nice. Yeah, no knocking and shit. Ah, uh, it's already the afternoon. Well, maybe that's why there's no knocking. Hey! Independence Day in America. July 4th. Okay. Well. Ah, time to go on the computer once more. Hora. I'm just met with Kochi again. I want to write to you from a cafe. When I went to my to the park today, Kochi was crying by himself. I tried asking what what was wrong, but he couldn't say anything. <clears throat> he looked really worried, so I tried asking again why he was playing by himself yesterday. He told me about Hikaru, the kid who died of a heart attack, but. Looks like Kochi doesn't know that Hikari died. Or rather, seems he doesn't want to accept the fact that he died. So he's in denial. Uh... Well, what would that... What stage would he be in? Regret? Or... Repentance? Basically wanting to have... Uh... Hikaru back? I don't know. Ah. <sighs> He says Hikaru went off somewhere. I wonder where he went. Hmm, I don't know. My phone's ringing though. This man has a 2 5 what? Okay. Alright. What is this? What is that kid trying to do with Noku? And does he know anything about the guy who died? I'm worried about that you may be taking what the kid tells you at face value. Can you not talk to other kids and moms or whoever too? 
Your attitude is kinda... If I send this mail, I'm gonna get bitched at again. Oh, yeah, he's the manager writing it. I read your mail. I understand the situation. If possible, I'd like you to keep in contact with Kochi. Mail me again if you find anything out. Delta. I think I know what you mean. Well, nice. Ah, the daily word. Or today's word. I don't care about the daily word. Animals are such agreeable friends. They ask no questions. They pass no criticisms. George Eliot. George Eliot? I feel like I'd heard that name before. Let's search it up. I'll close that window though. Ah, oh, it's a f oh, it's a woman. <laughs> Whoopsie. Never mind. I don't know shit then. Uh, turtle. Ah, looks like Erica has forgotten the basics of reporting. Putting yourself too deep in the shoes of the other person can be problematic. Well, whatever. It's probably not going to work out for now. I just hope it doesn't turn into a hassle. Oh, let me check something out real quick. Yeah.